it's very nice you can assure us you won't allow a restart unless you determine it to be operated safely. The NRC and Edison always tell us safety is their number one concern. We contend that there are other critical considerations that preclude the possibility of the safety of millions of people. San Onofre is designed to withstand no more than a 7.0 earthquake. It's possible we could sustain one greater than 7.0. The tsunami wall is 14 feet at high tide. The wall of water at Fukushima ranged between 45 to 65 feet high. There is a possibility of fire, terrorist attacks, human failure. On top of all these circumstances, we all know evacuation is impossible. There is bound to be damage to the I-5, to some of the bridges, closing all the roads. There are almost 20,000 children in K through 12 in just the Capistrano Unified School District alone. The buses, the school buses that are supposed to evacuate those children to the Orange County Fairground to meet their parents can handle less than 5,000. So that means one out of four kids gets to be on a bus. That's if the buses can get through. To top all this are the thousands of tons of nuclear waste with no safe permanent repository. And a, re and a restart will only add to that liability. It's not just the fact we can't get insurance for our equities, which represent most people's nest eggs. It's also the fact that a radioactive plume could destroy California's agriculture and the supply of much of the nation's food. So, my question to you is can you honestly say this plant, which sits on three nuclear, three earthquake faults, can be operated safely? Thank you. I think, it, I think you've answered this in one form or the other, but could you take it, Bart? Well, I'm just gonna add that uh, it won't be operated unless it can be operated safely. And it's our job to make that judgment.